It's the first day of school, and it can be totally frightening. But the key to surviving it is whether you're ready or not. Tell me about your list and how long you've been waiting for that. I think it's the sweetest thing I ever heard. Ned, books are so powerful. They just dive into your emotions. <laughs> the little engine that could? I didn't make it. Oh, it's okay. You can cry. <laughs> okay, okay. You can stop now. I write poems. Do you want to hear one? Roses are red. Basketballs are orange. I'm kind of stuck after that. Do you know a word that rhymes with orange? Pitsy, could you pass this note to Coconut Head? Pitsy, could you pass this note along? When I see in a student's eyes that they've learned something new, that's what keeps me going. That's what I love about teaching. <laughs> Bye, Pete Froggy. We won't forget you. You beat people up, and then you write beautiful love notes. I'm a complex individual. <laughs> what are these? Ooh, savvy love notes. Who wrote these? <gasps> I don't write love notes. I eat them. Hmm, come on. Very simple. When there's trouble, mischief, or vandalism at school, one person is called to crack the crime and punish those responsible. The assistant principal, or as he's known at Polk, Vice Principal Crubs. Would, would you like to dance? With me. Sorry, but I'm obviously with someone. Someone who isn't here yet. But we'll be here shortly. Then can I dance next to you while you stand there? Sure, I guess that would be OK. Spring fever kiss can't hurt. Ned, I have to tell you something. This is your baby. And you need to love and I am large, venomous, and I eat my young. Who am I?
my mom when I don't clean my room. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's enough. You don't hate me. You fear me. What? I do not. You're deranged. I'm the only one who challenges you at school. Without me, you're lost in a sea of academic disparity. You want a piece of me? Come and get it. You drive me crazy. Get out of my kitchen. Oh, Rose, uh, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. I have spinach to cream, but I don't mind creaming you two first. Now get out. Really, we have to. Gordy, I see pain in your future, and I don't need the beans, baby, to see it. Now get out. Get out. All right, I get it. You know best. Ned, if you want to learn how to do this, you've got to learn how to do this first. But I can't stop tooting. Save yourselves! He's gonna blow! Hello, everybody! Along with my partner, Olympic gold medalist Willie Gold, I'm Van Earl Wright, welcoming you to Ned and Cookie's first big fight ever. Ned, you've got to stop beating up people and start beating up Stan, the anger management doll. Mr. Lowe, it was all an accident. Watch. Ooh, I'm so angry. I'm enraged. I'm going to punch this. And now I feel better. The amendment states you can't get cut because you're a boy, but you can get cut because you stink. And man, did you stink. Listen, Cook. I don't care if your locker's on the ice planet of ha! If you're late for class tomorrow, you get an F! <laughs> you are weak! <laughs> my boys, I'll be in my office. Lance, trip up. Pencil like a bar. I always come prepared. And here's an eraser for your mistakes, and tissue for when you fail and start crying, moron. Thanks. Don't go to a party. Be the party. Isn't it a little loud? You've heard of homeschooling? Well, I'm home teaching. Hmm? Don't ask why it's none of your business. Not because I'm new, you can all write a five-page essay on why you hate summer! Will you go to the dance with me? Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> You're the one who stole Mr. Biggle Bunny from my locker. Here's a funny story. Does it start with, you're not in the eighth grade? I am. This much. When I'm in math with you, the rest of the time I'm Kind of a seventh grader. Oh, thanks for coming. Yeah, don't sweat it. It's my job. Is he gonna be okay? You go dance. I'll take care of Poop Boy. <laughs> now we are twenty thousand dollars short, and tomorrow they will cancel the art class. Oh, I volunteer my time here for the art, and it's still not enough. I know, but just borrow the money. Okay, who's got 20 grand? Hmm? Speak up. Which means the first student to misspell a word becomes official word reader and has to sit next to the moderator. Mr. Gross. Stacy, Tracy, uh, why don't you guys start working on the board problems? I call the homework. Wait, what are you gonna do? How about coming up with a super cool name for our study group? Like the Mathematicians? Oh, 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 that's great! It is great! He's my new friend! Isle, I-S-L-E. Isle, I apostrophe L-L. Isle, A-I-S-L-E. 
Stop it! You're tearing me apart! <laughs> <laughs> now, as an official member of the crew, tell us more about Ned. Does he like to swim? What's his longer What's combo? What does he do as his hair? What's his hair? Or, or... Could we do something else? Well... We could rearrange your face. <laughs> According to my records! Until you bring those books back with a six dollar late fee, you can't take any books out of my library! What is she doing with Mr. Pink? You gave it to me! And you gave it back, so if you don't want it, I'll give it to this girl. This girl? And to think that I planned on making you jealous at the dance so you'd want me back. I, I do want you back. She means nothing to me. Do you still want to go to the dance with me? Come on, just one bite. It's a masterpiece. What's one bite? El muchacho en amor no se concentra. El muchacho en amor no se concentra. And the first thing we will be learning is quadratic equations. This is going to be awesome. Fx equals x squared minus x plus... What's with the letters? One. Where are the numbers? Fx, Fx equals x squared, x x squared minus x, x, x plus y. Ah, I see you've met the new kid. That young go-getter is Jack Spratt, my assistant. You need an assistant? Moe's work gets in the way of Gordy time. So. But today we've got Mr. Wiener, who we've had since kindergarten and is our favorite sub of all time. <laughs> Let's learn about Moby Dick, who spent a lot of time in water. Spencer! Spence, I'm a big-time Hollywood movie producer from Hollywood. I like your stuff, kid. You're gonna be big, big, big! I've got a big-time Hollywood limousine waiting for you outside to take you to Hollywood! My Romeo and my passionate kiss of Susie will be no more! The Hollywood beckons! We will only have another short intermission. And your new president is... The Weasel!